Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Hope it's going okay. Just listening to Milgram music while we're waiting for the stream to kick off. <clears throat> Should do an audio test. Sounds good to me. Cool. How's it sound to you guys? Sound alright? Good, I hope so. I hope so. Oh. Are we ready for some abnormal victories? Also, something has occurred to me that I will say when we get into this. Uh, I'm your local uh, LOR pro, ask me anything if you need it. Uh, appreciate it, we've got a few uh, LOR pros in the chat. I generally prefer to work stuff out on my own, but I appreciate the offer. Right. Just gonna pour myself a drink and we'll get started. I'm ready to die in an amusing fashion if that's what you mean, Karen. Well, I have reconsidered how I was handling uh, Tifereth's floor, so hopefully you're not gonna die, Eurist. Why you got Bill from Left 4 Dead 2 there? Because uh, that's art I had commissioned for when I did a Left 4 Dead 2 series, which is no longer available, uh, but it's still art that I had done for my channel. This slideshow is, uh, that's art I've commissioned uh, of characters I like from artists I like. Uh, there's also official art, there's also fan art, so that's fan art sent in by a viewer. There's official art like the Bill art. And then there's stuff from the Far Waste, which is the post-apocalyptic official art. Uh, for the Far Waste po uh, post-apocalyptic TTRPG that I'm developing. And they're the four kinds of art uh, that appear in this slideshow. Right. Mm. Yeah. Hello. There it is. Cool. How is everybody doing? Hello and welcome back to Garen Reverse's live Library of Ruina, part 15. Ugh. Hardly ever see a reason to use that, Garen, but I'm glad I have it. Uh, oh, hey, Ethan. Uh, oh, yes, I was on here between streams, so of course I turned the sound off. I would have caught it eventually, I promise. Oh, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> last time I uh, unlocked the Queen Bee. I talked about the prescripts. And um, between streams, I did a little bit of work. I have overhauled Chesed's floor's build. Um, I have... I can't remember. No, I didn't do anything with this one. Because I don't think I'm good enough to beat that one yet. I have reconsidered how I'm doing Tifereth. 
and we're going to give uh, Queen Bee a go with Malkuth. I have changed a couple of people. We do have a couple of singleton builds. I know they're the, the cool, hip new thing. And, uh, yeah, we will see how it goes. So, where should we start? Obviously an abnormality. I mean, we could just keep up the trend. Let's do that. Let's keep up the trend. Because we're going to go for uh, Magical Girl. So the way I'm going to do Tifereth is Tifereth's floor is the way that I tried to do Gibura's floor, which is clearly using secondhand stuff isn't going to work, so I, I need to just nick things from other people. Um... Hey, Nathan. So what am I nicking from whom? Uh, Tifereth can be... Oscar, Eurist, uh, you're going to nick the blunt one, if I can find it, I don't see it, Where's, who's called Collinium, Collinium's a puppet, oh it's not one of the puppets that's bloody bookmarked, yeah I unbookmarked some of these, because this, this swapping pages thing is new to me. Alright, let's just go through here and make sure all of these are favorited. Favorited, favorited, favorited. Apparently that's... It. Oh, no, is that a favorite or is that... I don't know. Favorite. I think this is bugging out a bit because <laughs> it doesn't know who's actually got these things equipped. Favorite, favorite. Okay. Where was I? Uh, Eurist. You have this one and Doot. Uh, Dude, you are going to have um, bamboo gems off hod. And we'll give this a go. So we're not leaning into any one strategy. These are just basically my three best uh, decks and builds. So... Uh, who are we going to have taking this? Probably still... Ooh, no one is actually fast enough to, to steal it and I don't want it to be Tifereth. Oh, then again, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because none of them have identity at this point. So sure, Tifereth is going to tank that. And then... Uh... Why is Pleb Lord a shadow person? You should ask Pleb Lord, don't ask me. Okay. feel like she's going to transform. So we should be playing defensive until she does. And this one. Okay, let's go with that. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, all going for Tiff. All ranged. 
sparking spear back. I intercept one of these. And intercept one of these. The aim is to get her to transform without taking much in the way of hits. Hey, Melon. Uh, oh, Tiff isn't marked anymore. That's odd. with three there. Ooh. Let's go with that one. And Tiff, if you can intercept that one for me. Yeah, she should transform after this, because she's losing a ton of clashes. Yeah, there it is. Good. And we're going into this with only Eurus having taken a couple of hits. And, straight away, we're going to have a Staggers. So, if I can survive this... Hey, Maranta. Uh, he doesn't do much with bleed. Hod's Floor is bleed-based. It is, but it's, it's bleed-based in a way that you can get it so that just by putting a couple of things on... Um, you can have every slash thing inflict bleed, and therefore anything that slash base fits on Hot's floor because anything slash base becomes bleed. A summation. Uh, put there. And um. I need to recover some as well. Let's go for this. So max health, so I just need to get through this one really. not terrible. Now we should stagger because he's used his mega and we've got pretty high light to smash the shit out of him. Uh, you're the only one without high light but that's okay. Look at that. Oh, two thirds beaten. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, now's the hard part because I've got to survive four rounds before he does that again. Okay. Uh, who's he marking? He's marking Eurus. That's good. Eurus is the toughest at the moment. Um, let's go with a sleigh. Uh. Tiff is on the recovery, so just hit that, I guess. And there's not much you can do here, so you're just going to have to... Yeah, we're, we're sort of out of stuff here. Not bad, not bad. Oh, recovered. And staggered, that's bad. Oh, you don't need to target the mass attack to clash with it. Okay, I thought you did. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm thinking we just sacrifice Eurus to... Um, 
uh, our lord and saviour magical girl and just go for the attack on the dice that isn't fighting. Sorry, buddy. Just like Enoch. Died for our sins. I, if things conspired that way, you're a, I, hands up. I, I wasn't intentional, but sometimes things just happy accidents, you know. Mm. Okay, marking. All right, things are turning against me now. If I go for that one. And that one. I'm gonna have to. Can't see bloody. There. That's my best chance, I guess. Things I think have turned against me here. Staggered. Shit. Staggered. Oh no. And here it comes. When I'm staggered. Well, shit. I mean, if we can survive this turn. That did a ton of stagger damage, but no normal damage. Why did that do absolutely no normal damage? What's his res resistances? Endured pierce. It must have been a pierce attack. Wow. Okay. Dude, you tank. Oh, unyielding, of course. Because he's, um... He's uh, Bamboo Jim, isn't he? Amazing. Okay. Can you do 68 damage in one turn with subpar pages? Because <laughs> I don't have the light. <laughs> Finally, take that, you adorable little monster. <laughs> yes. <sighs> not this, not that. Need a hand? I could do all this by myself. Jeez, just looking at the covers of these books makes me dizzy. Did you read them all? Sort of. Quantum physics, cell biology. You wrote some difficult looking labels on them. It's hard to recognize the contents of the books here from their title alone. And it's even harder to find books that are actually readable. Yeah, a lot of them didn't even have a lot of complete sentences now that I think about it. The completeness of a book mostly depends on the reader, though some are just unstable to begin with. Does that completeness have something to do with some books disappearing upon reading while others don't? I'm not too sure, but I think it has to do with how thoroughly the book was read. Once all the contents of a book have been read and understood, it vanishes since it served its purpose. Oh, like in every game ever. Except Skyrim. Hey, I heard of something like that. Light can be considered as a particle or a wave depending on how it's observed, right? Maybe the properties of books can change depending on the reader in the same sense. I don't know. Stop trying to make weird comparisons with your shoddy knowledge. Probably just inexplicably works like singularities do. Obviously, that's the sensible reason. I just roll with it. You seem very proud of your ignorance. I don't pretend to understand things I don't get. I still make sure to read and manage all the books you send here, though. The same book can show different things each time you read it. Understanding a book completely is a repetitive process, you know? And I don't want to stay ignorant forever, that's annoying. Different content every time you read it, huh? So that's why we need multiple copies of a book. Ah, that's that's clever, that's clever, clever explaining. 
Right, so the burning the books isn't Sarah. actually burning books. Why would it be burn and not read? That's odd. I still don't fully get it, but I kind of... I actually kind of like the properties of light you just told me. The fact that something can change just by looking at it is romantic in a way. And maybe... Maybe I held enough meaning for Enoch just by staying by his side. Enoch? Enoch? Oh yes, I've heard of him. Um, Yurik said he's dead. There were two Tifereth in the past, and if you bring that up again I swear I'll pull your arms off, I don't know. Uh, back in my second life, as you and Malkuth put it. And we were together in our first lives too. Oh, that's your boyfriend? Sounds like you were together for a pretty long time. Enoch left my side in both of those lives, thanks for bringing that up. Damn, got dumped twice? What a shame. Keep your chin up, chin up though. It's not like a breakup is the end of the world. You know, sometimes he comes across as really smart and sometimes he just misses the entire point of the conversation. Roland, he died. And Enoch wasn't someone who could just be put in such light terms, Yurik. Yurist. I don't know why I called you Yurik then. Oh, uh, I, um, uh, hmm. I'm terribly sorry, miss. I apologise for my carelessness. That's alright. When I bid farewell to Enoch for the second time, I'm sure he could find the meaning he was looking for. That our lives and sacrifices were not in vain. We lived in a world where everyone died so easily, but he believed that dying a meaningless death was not what people were born for. It's kind of hard for me to follow. How about you then? Did you find the meaning? Maybe. The purpose given to me now is to complete the light so that it can be used properly. Everyone's been talking about that light thing. What exactly is it about? You've heard about Lobotomy Corporation's singularity, right? Well, yeah, kinda. Technology that physically manifests the mind, wasn't it? That's right. These manifestations could also be dissolved back into an indefinite form and seeped into people's minds. Hmm, I guess that makes sense, he says, knowing it doesn't. Lobotomy Corp gathered the light over a long time to cure the ill minds of the city's denizens. Of course, all the while operating as an energy company on the outside. How'd you generate enough energy to stand as a wing? Pulled it out of people? Creatures called abnormalities were created as a side effect of our singularity. As we manage them, we learn that they emit a certain form of energy. That's encaphalin. What? Those encaphalin batteries were made from monster battery? Monster... Mon monster... Monster produce. Monster... Monster poop. Monster poop batteries. Damn, and I used encaphalin lighters to smoke, too. Was I smoking monster poop? I swear to God, Roland. From people, to be precise, is humans that are turned into abnormalities. And sometimes inanimate objects? Creatures born out of the human mind, huh? And I'm guessing tons of employees died during the process of managing those creatures. You're right. It was all part of the stage play Angela mentioned. Quite typical of the city, eh? A company that masked people with the end goal of curing them. It's almost like a cliché for all the myths about the wings at this point. I don't know a lot about the other wings, but they probably aren't too different, right? Oh, they're totally the same. That's the kind of cycle we wanted to break. And the light being the means to achieve that, huh? Sounds more like you were trying to brainwash people with it or something. It's not as simple as that. It's a matter of perspective, really. To be fair, I only know the general outline of things. So I want to see for myself if those cycles are really happening out there. I don't really know much about this world, like Angela. Leave it to me, Miss Tiff. I'll uh, bring just the right books for you. <laughs> Let your actions speak for you, then. Okay. Love, justice, and hate. Uh, in the name of love and justice, here comes Magical Girl. If I am this on the side of good, then someone has to be on the side of evil. Without someone to play the villain, I can't exist. She vowed to love everything in the world, but all that was left was a collapsing heart. 
After winning a clash using offensive dice, a random ally recovers HP. After winning the clash using defensive, they recover stagger. Alright, that seems okay. Uh, enemy who dealt the most damage to allies in the previous scene is the villain. And bonus damage when attacking the villain. That's funny. After losing a clash, take two to four staggering, gain a strength. After losing three clashes, reduce the cost of the most expensive card by one. Okay. Frankly, those don't seem good enough to go to have gone through what I just went through. Oh well. Oh, and no new assistant. That's a shame. Oh goody. For those of you who didn't watch my Lobco playthrough, which you totally should go uh, check out, the Knight of Despair, or the Princess as I called her, is my favourite abnormality. Oh, she's so good. How's she doing? Look at you! <laughs> Her blessing was pretty sweet to have. Mm hmm, she fell to despair after realising she couldn't have hold what she vowed to protect. A knight whose pride turned into despair. Oh, she's untargetable. Loyal protection cannot be targeted, does not act. Give three tiers to a random sword every three scenes. If the character is staggered, activate the scene after. When a sword with tears takes lethal damage, falls into despair. When they fall into this display, despair, they recover all HP and stagger and use special pages. Hmm. Okay, this looks complex. Gain a speed dice, use special pages, change resistance. Mm. Right. Fall into despair. Right, sorry, I didn't read the chat during any of that, so I'm just scrolling back up, that's what I'm zooming in. Uh, let's have a look. Mm. Roland has no clue what he's talking about. If you need help with deck building, I've got plenty. No thanks, I prefer to build my own. Uh, the remaining Urban Nightmare imitations are fun gimmick, fun gimmick, and pain. Explanations of gameplay mechanics in lore. I do love to see that. PM loves to integrate game mechanics into the lore. Fantastic, I really enjoy that. That's why books burn. The Library of Babel. Okay. <laughs> Roland, people have family relations. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if Eurus is constantly on the naughty step will not work. Yeah, but Eurus isn't allowed to read. So they get new books and Tifreth throws the books at Eurus and is like, stack these for me. Mm. I appreciate that you want to help, Wraith, but I don't need help. Thank you. Uh, Scarecrow is also on the list of things for today, yeah. Nope, all humans ones. I, evidence disagrees with that. Everything I've found out so far, Luca disagrees that all of them were human. Like, there was the teddy bear, there was the bathtub. You know, the bathtub didn't used to be human unless... Weird things. Because we know it isn't common. Lobotomy Corporation is a therapist's office, the secretary of which decided that the therapist must, must tell people they're worthless halfway through. Wow. Hmm. Alright, cool. Yep, 
yeah, you should definitely go check out my Lobco series. I did a full playthrough on, on livestream. It's like 50 parts or something. I'm currently doing a highlights reel. Hopefully her battle won't change her favourite status. It's unlikely. Because even though Magical Girl has kept me trapped for like three weeks, I don't dislike her anymore for it, you know. I don't like I don't like or dislike her in any way, you know. She's she's the same as she was. Is what I mean. That's what I was failing to say. So I'm still reading the chat. Uh. <laughs> I'm not allowed to read as a librarian. This is abuse. Well, maybe you shouldn't mock dead children then, Eurus. That's the lesson here. Uh. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, the background does look really good. Yeah, I wasn't planning on fighting this one now. I just wanted to see it because she's my favourite. But that does seem complicated. Uh... Right. Where should we do now? Oh yes, uh, two things I wanted to mention. First of all... It occurred to me, because uh, people in in the chat were talking about uh, Limbus Company before the stream, and they mentioned about WAR equipment and WAR Ego and stuff, and it made me realise only Lobco use those classifications. You know, outside Lobco, instead they're like uh, Urban Nightmare, Urban Plague, uh, Urban Legend, and then we know it goes all the way up to um, Star of the City. So... It's interesting that Lobco used their own system for the abnormalities, whereas distortions and presumably organizations have their own separate classification system. Hmm. Yeah, there are some abnos that used to be human, definitely. Like uh, all of the magical, magical girls, probably. But like, there are also some which seem to have manifested out of just thoughts and stories is really to me it's not as cut and dry as yet they all used to be people and now they're not hmm. right uh, let's have a look at uh, Scarecrow I guess So, uh, I have built custom decks for these guys. They are all using the exact same deck. Uh, it's a deck which has two kinds of cards in it. Uh, high defensive cards up first. Uh, defensive or evasion cards in the first slot. Or ones to, to draw and recover. So we've got light recovery, we've got drawing, we've got defensive and defensive. Um, the idea being they should all keep at least one of these on hand for if they're targeted with Harvest Wisdom. Nope, the other one. If they're targeted with... Oh, damn, he's got two? Okay, I didn't realise he had two. That's okay. But yes, keep them on hand for if they can intercept a rake-seeking wisdom. That's the plan. So, uh, counter with that... And they've all got one, uh, so you can also counter with that. Meanwhile, you should also counter with that, and you should counter with that. Because they need to beat a 4 to 7 uh, with the defensive die in order to get another copy of Wisdom. So the, the plan is to keep any who use their Wisdom topped up with another wisdom because each round they're going to hit me with two harvest and two not presumably 
And then I will use my other person who isn't being targeted to um, just throw on throw on attacks, basically. Like so. Nothing he can do there. That's not good. That is good, though. now it's your turn. So wisdom and wisdom. So that's I reckon how you beat this one. Uh, she said looks really nice with Mars's page there. I thought so too. I think it just looks like a fancier version of what he normally wears. It goes well with his hair. Uh, Zayn's without Cliffhoff deterrence can absolutely destroy an Aleph with deterrence. I suppose that's something I've not really thought about isn't it? Well, if human consciousness is uh, is weird. <laughs> hmm. So I'm reading the chat again. You almost beat this one last time. She should manage fine as long as you don't get overconfident. I never get overconfident. When have I ever been overconfident? What's he doing? Sorry, they have it at other... Sp oh, God, okay, whatever. Well, pisky. Uh, yeah. I get quietly confident, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, I didn't realise they had other ones where it wasn't first. That's kind of annoying. Uh, and now I throw extra attacks onto you. Staggered. Oh, hey, Dreaming. And I'm out of wisdom. Brilliant. My plan failed miserably. Incept that one. Yeah, my plan failed. Terribly. So I'm just going to have to counter with whatever. Clean up. Clean up on aisle you. Not bad. Twenty four, not bad. Not enough to get a kill, sadly. I still have not read Wanderlab, no. Mm. Yeah, this hasn't gone like I expected it to. I, d I have no wisdom. I've got one wisdom. And that's it. Good at using feast on me. Eesh. 
Oh. I think probably I should have thrown more on that one guy. Because that was my chance. I staggered one and I didn't kill him. And now I've got no wisdom at all. Ah. Oh. I used the best ones I had, the best defensive cards I had, and they just weren't enough, because it's a, up to a 7. So if they roll high and I roll low, I, there's just nothing I can do. Hmm. So I'm reading chat again. I don't know why I'm, I'm doing so bad at multitasking today. I just am. Right. Well, your Kathy's almost out of cards, which is annoying. He's almost dead, but not quite. And we've got one of ours staggered. Yeah, I'm redoing this one. I should have gone more in on that attack. I think you could have done better if you used something other than feast. Struggle, perhaps. What do you mean? Well, um... Struggle. Oh, no. Is it a, an evade one? Struggle? What struggle? Oh, that's actually not a bad one. That's better. Anything with a strong evade die should do. I don't have much that's a that's that strong an evade die. You say evasion does roll higher. Disagree. One to five. Uh, three to seven. One to seven. These are the same as the the defense die. The defense die are like um like three to six or two to seven. You know, it's about the same. Mannequin is decent. Actually, yeah, mannequin is. I didn't see that one. That is actually pretty good. Right. Save that. Load that. And load that. Alright, let's give it a go. Okay. Wisdom and wisdom, and you will mannequin and scatter, but also go for uh, a cleanup and go for a, a roll. You got this, Kathy. My 
head is all empty. I'm just a dowdy pile of hay. All right, we should have got at least one wisdom there. Yeah, we did. Good. All right. Wisdom and wisdom. Uh, scatter. And scatter. No. Two to five. Yeah, go for that one. Cool. Yeah, mannequin. All right. I, hands up. I missed mannequin. That is a very good call. I appreciate that. I don't know why I've started saying hands up. I guess because you can't see me. I'm trying to... Alright, we just need one, one or two hits here. Yeah. Nice. Good, Kathy. Nice. Good work. Alright, if we actually hit this guy harder, we should be able to kill him off. We've got the wisdom to deal with these. Yeah. Yeah, these changes... Uh, have completely changed. Like, they, they've completely improved this. I appreciate the, the help. Mini Garen doesn't have hands. He does, they're just off, off camera. See? Look at his hands. Oh, look at them wave. Uh, why are they after my wisdom? They won't find much. I'm sure you know about lots of things, Mimic. Like Pokemon. Um, and fish. Do you know anything about fish? You seem like the sort of person who knows about fish. I'm going to assume you know about fish, Mimic. What's that? Uh, scatter. You seem like a fish person. Are you a fish person, Mimic? I don't think we're going to get the kill on him either. But we are handling the, the wisdom better, so hopefully that's okay. Nice. Yeah, we didn't get the third lethal. I do not know about fish. I know about architecture, but not fish. Oh, well, fish, architecture is very much like fish. You know, they're both... Oh shit, we only have one, one wisdom. Oh no. We're in trouble. Something's come along and it's burst my bubble. Till the soil. What is this? Why are you tilling all my soil? Keep away. Stagger the git. One's almost down. Stagger, yes, good. Now he's healing. Shit. It's beginning to turn against me again. At least the one who was supposed to be harvesting isn't going to harvest today. Scatter. No pages head empty. Ha <laughs> ah, ha. God, can't really deal with that. I don't really have much in the way of damage dealing. 
was sort of expecting to be on top of the wisdom the whole time and therefore wouldn't have to hit hard. You know, death by a thousand crows. I think scattering slash isn't doing the job of getting you wisdom. You probably try to counter with mannequin more. Mm. Yeah, I went for... Oh, it's... Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's 4 to 8 compared to 1 to 9 and 2 to 5. Yeah, the 2 to 5 isn't much of a good bet against the 2 to 4. Yeah, I think you're right. Alright. You're on wisdom duty then, buddy. No, actually. Well, so it's, it's still best to separate it. I can't separate it because they're both going for him. Boogery! Yeah, I can't separate. He's going to hit, be hit by one of these. Okay. Thing is, he's got nothing that I can attack with. <laughs> Run out of the drawing pages, so he's just on. Mimic's just on defense duty for now. That should have got me a wisdom, though, so that's good. We are whittling them down. And I've got two wisdom to deal with this. But, oh, you rolled so freaking poorly you can't intercept one of them. You knob, she said. Why you like this? Mannequin. not his fault the Scarecrow bound his legs. I suppose. I still blame just said though. Drink less coffee. Maybe that'll make you move faster. Uh, nothing I can do there either. Alright. I guess just cut him then. See if we can get that kill. Staggered. Yes! Such a shame. The, the wisdom it took didn't belong to it after all. Fully belonged to it, didn't belong to it at all. It stole, it put, it put some sort of hay stalk into somebody's head and sucked their brains out. Well, it wasn't fully theirs. The fault lies with said all of it. Hey, Bentley's your car X fan. Welcome. Uh, make sure you do not give any spoilers, uh, just so you know. Mm, do we have any wisdom? Yes. Good. We have the wisdom to deal with the wisdom, the wisdom fiend. And we have a mannequin to deal with this. So. How are we going to spend the rest of our attacks? Uh, it's in that one. Yeah. Is, yeah, it's best to be on the safe side and just make sure new people know no spoilers. Okay. Do we have any wisdom? No, we have none. We are wisdomless. 
Wisdomless monsters. Really not much I can do there. <laughs> Uh, do you have any? Two to seven. Yeah. It's going to be a couple of rounds. I'm just going to chuck that on as well. If we can get this kill... Which I think we can. Oof. Oh. No, not quite. But he's staggered. And he's only scattering. Good. We also have a wisdom to play with. <laughs> Your brain wrinkled, growth gross versus my brain smooth, very cute. <laughs> Alright, let's just hit with that. And then just continue chucking stuff on top of that. Oh no, she said it's staggered that's bad. But two scarecrows are down. That's not how you get smarter, buddy. Uh, we can intercept with the mannequin and then just hit him with stuff. Hit him and stuff. Nice. Yeah, I think we got this now. I'm quietly confident. Look at all this wisdom that Mimic has. So much wisdom, Mimic. Oh, you're drowning in the stuff. Spare some for the rest of us, Mimic. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna not do anything. I'm gonna let him. Because uh, at the end of this one, he'll stagger himself from losing to the uh, to the wisdom, and then we can hit him with all of the light and cards, light and pages we have here. I wonder, can I just use... No, I can't. Damn. I was hoping Wisdom would, like, be super buff when I use it, too. That'd be fun, but no, that'd be unfair. Unfair and all those abnormalities. Kya. Gotta be nice to those abnormalities. They don't get many breaks, being monsters and sucking brains. Good work, everybody. Good work. Whew. Hey, just said, care to open the door for me? My hands are kind of full right now. Uh, welcome. Here, let me help you. Whew, can't believe I actually carried this many books all the way here. Guess I've got this servant business down to a science. It's practically my title. Yeah, you naturally get used to anything in time, after all. The same goes for drinking coffee. Ugh, uh, coffee, huh? This one should fit your taste better than the last one, I think. Mm, Alright, I trust you with this. Oh, this one's sweet and, like, really tasty overall. How should I put it? Yeah, I've never had such a classy and dainty coffee before. I can practically taste the doily. Isn't it? Gabor also started out with this macchiato, you see. So this is what a delicious coffee tastes like. I'm over 30 years old and I'm still learning new things. I heard they mostly serve coffee with a strong taste of sweetness in the back streets to cover up the low quality ingredients. And some are just plain bitter. I used to drink it when I needed to stay awake or simply kill some people, I mean time. I did too. In Lobotomy Corp I always started each day with some coffee. 
A warm cup was the only thing that could heat up my lethargic body, listless as lukewarm coffee. I kept forcing myself to work, holding zero expectations. Must have been pretty tiring. It sure was. Employees were slaughtered by abnormalities all the time, and my plans to keep them alive never came to fruition. Sorry, I just need to blow my nose. One moment. The coffee slowly cool, cooled down along with my passion. How about now? Did it warm over? Ah, uh, I guess you could say that I put it in the microwave for a bit. This time it's steaming hot again, like you said, Roland. Just like I thought that was steaming hot, like you, Roland. Oh, my finger burns when I touch you. I could try a lot of things with everything that's been given to me. Most of all, I can drink various blends of coffee now. Though you still have to follow someone else's orders? I made the decision to follow her this time around. And I can actually minimize the damage my fellow librarians have to suffer if I work hard at it. Plus, they all come back from the dead. That helps. So all in all, I'm feeling motivated, you see. you got quite the flexible mindset, huh? Everything's better than before. Maybe this is mercy of some kind. From who? Our Miss Library Director? It's hard for me to believe, of course, but I sometimes think she might have done this for us. I'm not so sure. Angela's goals and where her anger comes from seem pretty clear to me at this point. I don't think there's any mercy in the path she's trying to take. She's said many times how she wants to kill everybody. Mm, this macchiato sure is tasty. <laughs> it's almost addictive. Addictive. It always annoys me when people say addicting. It's addictive is the, the, the word. I'll introduce you to other types of coffee from time to time. Let's get to know each other little by little. Strokes arm. Oh, fine by me. I'll look forward to it. Strokes arm back. Okay, apparently this is the ship I'm in. Cool. Torn off wisdom, gleaning, and rake. When he returned, he had a, a visibly long scar on his head. People asked how he felt, and he responded, his head felt lighter. Uh, it shows aggression towards certain employees attempting to take their brains. These employees are those who scored excellent on the intelligence test. The rake tilled the human brain instead of farmland. How many of the wise people among us have lost their lives to this rake? Uh, whenever the librarian uses a page, discard a random page and restore a light. Oh, okay, so this favours a discard build. <laughs> Torn off wisdom is good support for a terrible deck. Sounds about right. Uh, after attacking an enemy with a high amount of stagger resist, deal 2 to 4 stagger damage and recover stagger resist. After a. Oh! Okay, so if you attack someone, you basically steal someone else's stagger resist. Interesting. No, it doesn't mean stagger resist as in armor, it means stagger resist as in health. Stagger health. I think that's called me up before. Yeah, when you attack someone that is not in any way staggered, you deal increased damage and you actually heal some. After staggering an enemy, copy two pages owned by that enemy and add them to your hand with two less cost. And they are exhausted on use. Interesting. No effect against characters with shimmering, which are the magical cheaty ones that you don't get. Okay, cool. So a stagger and discard build, which is weird. Alright. Uh, but no second one for him. Uh, index is one of them. Tomary, Oscar, and Wedge. Oh, Tomary. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I'm thinking we just jump in and do the Malkuth one and give that a go as well. Oh, uh, yeah, alright, we could do some Credenza. Where, where were we up to? Bremen! Bremen! The musicians of Bremen. I can't remember their voices. He hard doodle do and wolf and me. The four of us we were moved to the core by the pianist performance. Sorry, the. F I'll start again. He hard doodle do wolf and woof and me. The four of us were moved to the core by the pianist performance. To recreate the performance half as splendid as what we heard that day, we formed the musicians of Bremen to study the music. We tried flicking strings here and there, playing music while sitting on our backs and even while handstanding. We just couldn't come close to the pianist level, but we managed to make our own brand of music. Something that only the musicians of Bremen can play. Our performance is actually quite fantastic, you know. Sadly, our time didn't last long. One day, a mysterious person approached us and asked us to join his ensemble and perform with him. Wolf Doodle Doo and He Haw took the offer and left with that guy. I had to stay because of new members that had just joined our band, though. Yep, Moo Moo and Oink. It's kind of uncomfortable to just leave them behind, you know? We can't let them mess around and taint our name either. I've been practicing with them to create a performance that could keep uh, get a standing ovation once my old bandmates come back. But at their current level of skills, the three would just cluck at these newbies' performance and go back to whatever they were doing. They say the back streets are a nigh inhabitable hellscape, but the people here live on somehow. There's lots of people who live in fear every moment, but the others live a pretty normal life. Some think the back streets are totally shady and poorly aged slums. But we do have all the am amenities we live here. Ba ba ba. But we do have all the amenities we need here. For one, the supermarket's oint likes aren't as good as those in the nest, but it's got everything people need. Clothing stores, groceries, dry cleaners, etc. I heard the details are different for each district, so there's that. I'm just telling you how things are where I live. People here aren't too unkind to each other. Those nest dwellers like to gossip about how we're cruel and dreary and all that, but the truth is we're doing just fine. Oh, and there's tons of good restaurants here. It's the street of flavour after all. Freshly baked meat pie, spaghetti made of special pasta. Your tongue and stomach have a wonderful time if you ever go on a trip in our district. We used to hand over the leftovers from our performance here to local restaurants. That meat would go to waste if we left it on the spot, so we might as well give it to people who can make good use of it, ain't that right? When Woof Doodle Doo and Hee Haw were around, we got enough chow to share with several eateries, but our find was halved since they were gone, and Oink keeps making silly mistakes with it and ruin the ingredients too often, so we quit that biz altogether, which is a tad bit unfortunate, and sometimes got tasty meals for free when we gave them our meat. Uh, so that connects to the bistro, because they said like, oh, they've, they've stopped feeding us for some reason. Yeah, the musicians of Bremen. Isn't the freshest. Hmm. Cool. Well, not cool, you know, horrible cannibalism, etc., but cool. The Savern Association is a fixer association specialising in investigation and intelligence, and it's knowledgeable in pretty much every affair that takes place in the city. Details about a syndicate gaining infamy in the back streets or someplace? The association probably knows what district it is exactly, but I left before I checked the details. All the information revealed about the distortion phenomenon which has been going around lately, when and where fixer offices start up and close business and the beat goes on. That was a cluster of a sentence. <sighs> the association treats all kind of information about the city. Oh, they don't have access to top secret intels, like the secrets of the singularity each nest holds, of, uh, obviously speaking. When, the case solve, when they solve cases, they often cooperate with other associations like the Xi and the Lu. 
If you ask how the Seven Association can secure its confidentiality despite handling lots of juicy info that could attract the many, it's likely because its staff aren't bad combatants by any means. They don't use fancy but crude... Uh, they don't use fancy but crude workshop weapons that are basically large amalgamations of various technologies. They don't use fancy but crude that are large amalgamations. For sure. Regular informants are armed with nothing more than a simple bladed tool. It sounds very underwhelming judging from the weapon alone, but they use the minimum technique with pinpoint precision to take down their foes. Alright, that was poorly written. Whew. Uh, all right, we'll do wedge as well. The eight o'clock circus was a real sod of a case. Its leader wasn't a particularly powerful enemy, but it took a long time to assess the strengths and behavior of each of its crew. There was no specific pattern to it, and it was difficult to predict what would come next. It was akin to watching an erratic circus of lunacy. Their lair was mysterious and terrifyingly bleak, and the crew took hideous forms as well, looking too grotesque to possibly be considered normal living beings. They were as strong as they looked, when the blob shaped like a lion bit Pamelli uh, with its blunt teeth. Her body quite literally blew up on the spot. Pop, she went, like a little maid balloon. However, our enemies were slowly brought down from the vantage point, and when they were completely cornered, the enemy escaped along with a few of his crew. Even though we couldn't put an end to the case, we decided to prioritize recovering Pamelli's body, as we deemed the circus would be weakened enough to stay low for a while. As we stored Pamelli's head in a stasis preservation case and headed to the exit of the collapsing circus tent, we ran into a group of fixers. They seemed rather exhausted after fighting a swarm of the crew outside. I suppose that's why they couldn't enter the tent until that moment. It's not uncommon for two or more officers of fixers to be present at the scene of a finished case, so I gently nodded to them to greet them, identifying ourselves as fixers of Wedge Office, who had come here to solve the case. The shortest person among them, the aged-looking woman who appeared to be the representative of that group, looked around the circus tent, let out a deep sigh, and introduced herself as Moses. Moses of Moses' office, while smoking from her pipe. Moses then started thinking, presumably ruminating over the what words to choose. She must have taken a request that's rather tricky to disclose. The two people behind her nervously exchanged glances with each other, appeared to be her bodyguards of some sort. Having such trivial thoughts, I waited for this Moses person to resume speaking. After a brief period of silence, Moses breathed out smoke in the other direction and asked me where the leader of the circus went. Since I didn't know much better than them, I told them what I could in brief. They seemed troubled by my unhelpful answer, but they soon accepted it and left the scene. That group reportedly appears every time a case of the distortion is solved. They're allegedly working as the Distortion Detective. Ah! Okay. But recent witnesses of their appearance were always followed with the Distortion case in the same location. Ooh. While it's unclear whether they're involved in this case, I believe there's enough reason to be wary of them. So, uh, Distortion Detective is, what, the next game they're making? Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm just reading the chat. The musicians are Bremen. I would say poor them, but they are cannibals, so they don't get sympathy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hard to make a cannibal uh, sympathetic, isn't it? It's just one of those things. Oh, there's also a novel. Okay, interesting. Uh, no spoilers, Luca. Uh, saying about the um, the U Corp thing. 
Life insurance for fixes is often a sham. A lot of them take your money never to give it back. Even if you terminate your insurance, they won't. It's not easy for your damage to be insured either. You have to be at death's door to qualify, pretty much. The chances are low as winning the lottery. And what if you just up and died? What can the dead do with money? You'll be much better off making a savings account for an augment procedure or a quality workshop gear. I was a very lucky case. Keep in mind that this wasn't the norm at all. Insurance can sometimes be useful depending on its form and condition, sure, but if you take the pain to account, it just doesn't feel too great. Basically speaking, people who visit our office are looking for shrewd and precise situational assessment rather than combat prowess. The ability to make quick calculations for various possible scenarios and neutralize or kill the enemy with the least effort. We are hunters of this city. We wedge pierce the, the requests we get with swiftness and precision. Of course, our office isn't perfect in every regard, so when we're in partnership with a number of other officers. Fixer offices often request others for help when reinforcements or professional aid in specific areas is needed. In the case of our office, we are sister offices with Dawn Office, who are all dead now, sharing more information than we did with most other partners. Oscar is good friends with Salvador, who's dead now, the man running that office, and they've known each other for quite some time. But there's more to this sisterhood than that. Wedge Office excels at analysing the capabilities of foes, and Dawn Office specialises in combat, so it's only natural we go well together. Alright. Well, that's enough for now. I'm running out of... Uh, so I'm just going to mark this as... Uh, plague. Other. Oh, right. Malkuth. Uh, so, to remind yourself, uh, Malkuth and Oatmeal are both Burn. Uh, Melon is Blunt, he's the single, single thing Blunt. And Nathan has been upgraded from a discard build to a Singleton build. Who's ready to give it a go? Uh, what do you mean by spores, Miss Malkuth? If those teeth and jaw that crushed me. If she wants more and more drones, uh, it seems she wants more and more drones to work for her. Be careful not to inhale the spores. Right. Uh, if the character is attacked, inflict one spore on all librarian at the start of the scene. If there are two or fewer worker bees alive, inflict two spores. If a librarian dies while under the influence of spores, summon a worker, use, uses pages that boost the aggression and loyalty of worker bees every three scenes. Target the last foe that attacked the queen bee in the previous scene. Balling embrace of death. Alright. Oh wow. If her health drops to 20% or lower, they attack her. All right. Be careful. Classic. All right. What are we dealing with? So she's pure defensive. Carry lava. Inflict spores. Oof. Deal bonus damage equal to the spores. I don't like these guys. <laughs> The quick ones are inflicting spores and the slow ones are dealing extra damage because of spores. How are we on pierce? Are they all doing pierce damage? Yeah. How are we on pierce protection? Fine. Fine. Nathan's not fine, but everyone else is okay. So Nathan is the most vulnerable to, to this stuff. As always, there's two tactics. Crunch the mini bees or crunch the queen. I'd suggest crunching the mini bees because it's too annoying to get past her defense. I'm sort of inclined to go for the, the queen. Also, I've never played a singleton deck. I haven't tried it out, so we'll see how it does. Uh... 
I'm just going to blank her entirely. So, uh, she's... Uh, sorry, Nathan has... Um, uh, they have... Uh, the vulnerabilities, the assessment... And currently, Pierce is up, so I should do Pierce a Pierce attack. And I have a couple. Um, hey, Giakai. Uh, Singleton is great with the sole exception of requiring a large portion of the deck to be, deck to be draw, which isn't bad because Singleton can support draw and light pretty damn well. Okay. Uh, he beat Queen of Scarecrows. Uh, well, I'm fighting the Queen at the moment. Oh, the Queen of Hatred. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I just call her Magical Girl, so I hear Queen, I think Queen Bee. Yes, we beat Magical Girl and Scarecrows already. Um... Yeah, let's go through that then. Hmm. I'll insert this one, I think. Is that all? Yeah, it is. Do you have any comments about your regicidal tendencies? <laughs> Get burned, bugs! Clash. Yeah. I'm actually going to give that to Nathan. Uh, take four damage and halve the stack. Take four damage every time you roll an offensive dice. And if you die, a bee is spawned. Okay. Well, Blunt is up, and they're going for Nathan. Are they all going for Nathan? They are bloody all going for Nathan. Apart from the Queen, who is going for Oatmeal. Since you'll always be clashing the big B, you'll always have power. That was my thinking, yeah. Mm. Ah, look at all those cards. Pages. Alright, I can intercept one of these. The Queen Bee recovers HP. That is annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe I'm going to reconsider and go for these then. Didn't realise they could heal her. tough. Right, let's just clobber this one a bit. Do I have another blunt? I do. All dice this user plays lose three power for this scene. I feel I'm missing the use of this card. What is the use of this card? Like, it's powerful, but at the same time, they lose a lot of all of the ones I play, so that was probably a bad one to go for. Uh, 
Uh, you sh should be needed, so I'm going to make some m lunch. Have fun. Thank you, Luca. Enjoy your lunch. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Squeaky. Nathan's going to squeak with each hit now. The numbers aren't even that big, don't use it. Yeah. I think I will reconsider. I assumed it was a singleton one because it was oh, like used by the, the proselytizers, whatever they were called. So Pierce is up. Okay. Looks like Will of the Prescript. And hitting with three. Yeah, alright. Go for that one. And also chuck an attack on there. Restore light? Yeah, restore light. What's the queen doing? Oh, the character doesn't get staggered. Give five strength and five haste to all allies. Well. Piss. Really nothing I can do there. Oh no, she's really vulnerable. I see. I see, 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 I see. What's boosted Pierce? I don't think I'm gonna be able to stagger her, but I can try. Also hard to bloody see which dice I've used because of the yellow filter. That's quite annoying. Alright, let's try and stagger then. Oof. Nearly staggered. Staggered! Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. I love that squeak. Ashes. Ooh. Yeah. Clash winning. Nice. Singleton. The singleton way is to look at your deck and think, hmm, this second card would be a much better a place for singleton. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sure. Uh, the singleton is less of a deck you use as singleton and more of a splash singleton into every deck that doesn't rely on three copies of a card. I see. Alright, now we just smack up some queens a bit, shall we? That sounds... That sounds is wrong when I put it like that. Yeah, let's smack up the dude. <laughs> Shouldn't say it again, should I? Uh. Okay, throw everything on the queen then. Ooh. Almost got a st staggered melon. God, the queen bee is so hideous. Uh, many become incapable of building non-singleton decks afterwards. It's truly dangerous. 
Will a prescript does seem pretty cool, I will admit. The only side effect of singleton is the desire to make the desire to make every deck singleton. Uh. <laughs> the queen looks like a horribly botched lasagna. I totally see it. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh my god! Right. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, I I feel this binding arms deck doesn't work. Because I've tried leaning into it and it's, it's just not doing it. Uh, oatmeal. What's Oatmeal's deck? Oh, it's a burn deck. I just used all my bloody burn cards already. Same with Malkuth. Sort of can't afford to to attack with that. <clears throat> Can attack with that one and check that on to draw some. I reckon he's going to die first. Yeah. Squeaky. Oh no! Oatmeal, the most important meal of the day. Melon staggered. One B down. Ooh, yeah, gluttony. Alright, now we're going to have to go for the Queen again. And Pierce is buffed. Damn, I can't afford to use both of these. I think I've lost this. Because uh, neither melon nor oatmeal pulled their weight here. Oh, staggered. Good. Then again, she's down to 100. Maybe how to do this, you know. If I pile absolutely everything on Pierce, who are you attacking that one? I think I, we may have it this round then, because that is a lot of stuff and she's staggered. 
Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Yeah, she's dead. We don't even need the bees to finish her off. Bloody hell, Nathan! Sorry about ruining your kingdom. It was a do or die situation. Wow. Okay, um, Singleton, pretty, pretty good. Pretty damn good, I will admit. Spores, Workerby, and Loyalty. Uh, it has been confirmed that the spores carry drone eggs which hatch inside a living host. They show only two forms of behaviour, delivering nutrients and proliferating. The loyalty of bees is a naturally developed instinct. If we discover a way to draw forth that instinct, many things could change. When hit, inflict burn and bleed. Okay, so we might have a uh, bleed build coming up then. The enemy who dealt the most damage to the selected librarian is marked. Other, one, other allies deal more damage to the marked foe. At the start of the scene, all allies gain strength based on the amount of damage the selected librarian received in the previous scene. Interesting. Oh, we do. We do have another uh, Malkuth one. And are you prepared? Have you prepared yourself to view the final episode of the Floor of History story? Ooh. Does anyone wish to be in? Oh, sorry, I'm stretching. In Malkuth's floor. We have one more space. Oh, it's the last one here. Uh, so if anyone wishes to be there, uh, you do not have to be some form of uh, breakfast food. That is optional. Um, speaking of bees and honey, uh, I made mead. I mentioned this in the last stream that I made it uh, before the last stream, uh, but uh, I hadn't tried it by that point. So it's a non-alcoholic mead, um, and it was um, yeah, it was not bad. Uh, I bottled it up, and uh, it's all right. It, I a bit too heavy on the orange. Uh, that I put in and uh, probably a bit too heavy on the spice but yeah right where are we doing how are we doing on time got time hmm well so far I've only done abnormality fights Uh, I'm not, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Uh, yeah, I've beaten all of the abnormalities apart from, uh, red. And I think to beat red, I need to progress further. So shall we do the next one? It's a two act structure. I thought I'd look for a general. I didn't think there was a general. Oh no, there is a general. Never mind. No guess available. Okay, there are no... Um... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing that's going to be the thing for a, a thing I can't do yet. I'm guessing that's why that's... I'm guessing that's why it wouldn't allow me to to just put that one in. But no. Alright, I'll uh, skip the general for now. I'll go with Eugen and she. That's a two act. <laughs> oh, Argyle! Hello! I've forgotten his voice. Now, friends, don't get too excited. You're rushing it. My poor friend is about to faint from crying, see? 
Thelma, oh Thelma, you pitiable friend. You better hold your tears in, though. The real fun hasn't even begun yet. <laughs> oh, the spicy smoke from me, wee pipe. Or a dull your pain, eh? Ain't this one scaredy little fella, wang me pal? Oh, sure is, sure is. <laughs> I shall only flanked, uh, flanked about what? 1,347 slices so far. Now let's see here, yeah, blue fella. How many slices did you want again? Thelma may be a dear friend of mine, but breaking promises is a serious crime, so... How about 10,000 slices? Alrighty, alrighty, leave it to me, chap. Oh, buggery do! Me, you greedy old lass, you can't eat all of the slices off the plate. Crikey, you're gonna pop me eardrums. We're eating them anyway, so why not have some now, hmm? Now, now, there's so plenty more for all of us. Don't fight over some bitty meat. I've got to try and flake enough to feed us all full. Thelma, don't give me such a look. You knew the terms of our deal. You are handling all the tasks so well, you can't fail me in the end. Blue fella, looks like this fella has some, something to say already. Do we pull the gag out of his mouth? Sure, please do. Blue reverb, you crazy son of a bitch. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who gave me the impossible task in the first place. Ah, uh, it was your choice to only employ, employ Section 2 of the Southern Branch for this, Thelma. You could have had Section 1 to deal with some of them. Little Mr. Prideful Thelma tried pulling a shabby scheme to get rid of Section 2 so he could keep his seat. And now he's failed to keep his promise to me. But you, you gave me the hint to use them. I never said it was a must though, now did I? All I asked for you was to take care of the things on the list within the period I set, and you agreed to it. Cunning bastard, if you kill me, the branch manager, then section one of my branch will be after you, and she HQ will too. Even Hannah is going to make a move. So please, please give me another chance. Thelma, you can't bring yourself to say sorry for breaking our promise till the very end. It aches my heart to see it. Oh, and you don't have to worry about me. Remind me where we are, friends. It's the back streets, eh? Uh, aye, of uh, District 23, is it? Whoa, really? Don't this poor old lad realise it's night time? Of course he wouldn't. His eyes is covered tighty like. Aye, aye. The night in the back streets? Bingo, bingo. No one will never know where or how you died and who killed you. You'll just slowly melt away from the city, right? I'm certain he will, Sir Argalia. Okay then, let's proceed with it, friends. I'm sorry, I I'm so sorry, sir. I'm terribly sorry. I'm sorry for breaking our promise. What do we doodly do, blue fella? Do we cut it short here? Thelma. Yes, Argalia, it's all my fault, I swear. I swear that I'll never try to pull any cheap schemes. And I'll never break promises with you ever again. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, Thelma. I'm about to shed a tear. There's no way I'd actually spare you for making a sincere apology. I knew you weren't the brightest friend in the supposed shed, but I didn't think you'd be this slow. Still, I'll take your apology to heart. Now, now, time to put your gags back on, laddie. Say ah. Ah, you bitch, I hate you so much. Don't make such a sad face, lad. We gotta have more smiles and laughter in our life. What'll we do next, fella? 
As soon as you're done with him, head to the library. I'll leave the invitation here. And have good uh, and take good care of Thelma. He's my old friend, all in all. <laughs> oh, oh, you bet we will. Take care, laddie. Now then, Eileen, shall we go meet some other friends? Of course, sir. She does look different. He's totally one over the heart of the Church of Gears. He's totally one over the heart of the leader of the Church of Gears, huh? That absolute madman, it must be his long, flowing, sexy locks. They win everybody's heart. Uh, so I'm told. He's a fixer and he's got a distortion and even the smiling faces on his leash. Being a colour must mean having immense power, is that right? Mm -hmm. Colours are exceptionally skilled fixers, even among grade one. Hana Association assigns a unique colour to each of them. Assigned a colour. They're the best fixers in the city, basically. Their pay is way up there, too. I suppose the blue reverberation was assigned the colour blue. Yep, just like how the red mist was assigned the colour red. Brilliant lines of dialogue, flawless writing. Is he as strong as the red mist? Well, in terms of sheer power, the red mist in her prime is probably above him. But there's a whole lot of fields of fixer activity, and the situations can differ for each case, so it's hard to make a fair one-on-one -on -one comparison. For example, the red mist like to work alone, but the blue reverb is leading an urban nightmare class syndicate, as you can see there. Could we get the Blue Reverberations book if we ever happen to need it? Maybe, if we try by any means. The city would be much better off without that maniac too. Oh, oh would you look at that? The place sure is another world. Don't get lost in here now, lad. Got to keep your toes in a tiger's den. Oh, about time the director showed up. Greetings, dear guests. Nice to meet you, lassie. So you wouldn't have the book of an old pan named Eugene here, eh? We do indeed. Well, really? Guess there really is. Blue fella really is a scary one. Sure is, sure is. Everything's going as he says. May you find your book in this place. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, why is the Reaver feeding people to the library? Yeah. Also, uh, please don't say Brits. Um, I find that a bit derogatory. British people, uh, please. Blue is calculating, red is usually brutal. Interesting. Right. Smiling faces. They're all the same. Puffy Broom. Smoke amplifies outgoing damage instead of incoming damage on this character. Okay, don't know what that means. 14% chance to boost. Odd number, but alright. Gain 2 smoke amplifies damage taken. Oh, I see. At 9 plus smoke, all dice gain plus 1 power, stacks up to 10. Weird. Nice def bloody nice defensive dice though. Wow. 3 to 8 and a restore light on a zero cost card. That's incredible. Shame about the uh, smoke really. Hmm. This makes smoke characters the best anti-smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just stick the smoke passive on someone, they'll destroy anyone inflicting it. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheap one as well. It's only a one cost. Hmm. Use to smoke. I assume that reduces the smoke.
Ah, and it does seem to inflict smoke. Inflict bleed per two stack of smoke on the target. Inflict smoke, yep. Inflict seven smoke. Interesting. I don't think I like these guys. Uh, they're normal on everything. Oh, damn. I forgot to swap Hod back over. Which means I also forgot to swap the other ones over. God, that could have been really awkward if I got into a fight thinking, oh yes, I will I'll go in with Yasod's team. Because Blunt is really good here. Wait, why has Colinium got nothing? Let me just check everyone else is okay. And then these guys are nothing. These guys are very little. And these guys are still geared to fight scarecrows. Why has Deer got nothing? Why has Deer got nothing? I don't know. I don't know why Deer had nothing there. As we were. Uh, Roland, you reckon? Uh, okay. Uh, our newest person port is a singleton. Hmm. Actually, Taz, Taz hasn't been updated recently. Thought. Let me just very quickly update Taz's deck. Onto Brawl Mark Three. Right, let's try again. Chingu <laughs> day. Here we go. Oops, didn't mean to hover over that. Let's take it slow. We'll be sorry if we don't watch. That's bizarre, I tell you. Can't help it. Gotta get ready for it, eh? Oh, uh, we're getting books if we wreck them. Blue fella needs them for something. Okie dokie. They're slow at the moment. Mm, 48. So oh, deep drag. 6 to 19. Freaking hell. That's pretty powerful. Mm. Can I match that with anything? <laughs> uh, what's buffed? Pierce. No. No, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Roland. Two traces of humans, eight and seven. Uh, Deep Drag is an amazing card worth adding to any blunt deck. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. A draw, 19 damage, inflicting smoke and a dodge. That is fantastic. Surprise is only a three cost, really. Uh, who are we focusing then? 
Let's go with... Front boy. And uh, Pierce is buffed. Yeah, we're approaching another round of power creep. Almost silent shooting going on there. Oh, those are weird noises. What was with that? Was that the attack I was using? Oh no, it was um, port. It was the, uh, the outfit he's using. Staggered one. Because Port is, um, he's dressed like Alok or Dalok, one of the uh, the robot people. So he made the uh, the the clinky noises, not the clinky, the the robot beep 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 noises as he was uh, attacking. That's funny. Take thirty percent more damage. Wow. So presumably each one of these adds 5% extra damage because he's smoke six. Yeah. Tentacle arms guy. Yeah, that's... No, the other one. Um, there's the one with the four tentacle arms. There was the, the tiny one in the hoodie or the, the zip up one. And then there was the other guy who was in a coat holding a like a gem or something. And it's that one. Wow, they're all going for deer. Traffic lights, got it. Uh, yeah, go for bullseye. And... Can I intercept one of these? Ooh, slash stagger resist is changed to normal. I mean, it was normal anyway, but still. Oh, because of the highest smoke, that's why they're all going for deer, yeah. Slash is buffed. So go for that. And... Still light. Not that one. That one. Uh, yep, I can just ignore that. So Port is just going to make bleep bloop noises, apparently. Nice, one down. What did I smell of smoke to be so hardy? Didn't see that coming. Are we really going to go to after seeing how they massacred our poor chap? We're still mighty fine, so don't get ahead of yourselves. <laughs> Top three ruiner characters. Suit guy, coat girl, train thing. <laughs> Just think if you have a speedy man inflict 10 smoke before anyone else goes, that's 50% damage for everyone else. Bloody hell. They're still going for deer because of the highest smoke. Okay. Oh no. Oh no! Let's go for juggling maybe? Yeah, juggling. Uh, no, go for, go for, yeah, jug juggling's probably better, best. So I'm doing the accent all the time now. Guess we just stuck with it. Insert that. In 
don't know. Yeah, we're, just, we're gonna target him next. Uh, blunt. Staggered. Damn. Mm. All hands on port. All hands on port. Yeah, I think Deer's Deer's probably dead. Cause I can't intercept all of those. And Slash is buffed. I think I'm going to have to use Will of the Precept anyway. I need to draw. And I don't have any Slash. Hmm. So there. Uh, there's only like three smoke receptions after this one, and one is a general, which is a shame. I suppose it's a bit of a niche one for there to, to like lean into. Let's go for Brawl. It wasn't gonna do well out of that. Ooh, damn Roland. Don't often see Roland get his ass handed to him like that. Uh, blunt. Set one of these. And that's the only one I can intercept. Well, Deer will get to clash against one of these, so can't afford that. Let's go with juggling against that then. Yeah, deer builds. I don't know why deer builds so little emotion. Maybe I guess ranged is just not suited for emotion. Then again, deer has more emotion than Taz does. that to Roland because he's about to be staggered. Taz is out for the round. Uh, blunt. Oh yeah, I was going to extract. Ooh. No. Oh, one elf. One, one elf left. Oh, dead. No worries, I wouldn't be small enough if I couldn't have fellas laddies. Ooh. Randomize the costs. Shuffle all pages into the draw pile and draw four. Or increase HP. Uh, to be honest, neither of those are particularly helpful. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, lies on Taz. Correct. That is a good point. That is a very good point. 
Yeah, look at that. A free brawl. Forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, I think he's going to get staggered, though. Let's see if we can smack up this guy a bit. Uh, Pierce is buffed. Can't intercept, can I? What's that? That's a three. No, I can't. Mm. He's probably dead from that. Nice. Can't believe he actually survived that. Ooh. Oh, never mind. He is staggered. <laughs> yeah, good work, Taz. Get in, my coconut, indeed. Learn. I mean, I don't want to inflict smoke on these guys, do I? <laughs> Roland got breathed on too hard. All right, let's let's go with some fervent beats. Yeah, these guys aren't facing the second act. We're down to three people. I don't think they'll stand much of a chance. Then again, can I reconsider? No. No, I can't reconsider. I've chosen fervent beats. You get fervent beats. Hmm. Okay. I guess. Port. Are we really go about to go on after seeing how they masked our poor chap? Oh, shuckles. That's scary, all right. Things ain't looking fine to me. That's big trouble. What are we going to do from here, he says as he dies. And again, Taz screams, Get it, my coconut, damn it. Uh, slash. Let's slash you. Slash the ever-loving shit out of you. Good. Damn, Taz has killed three people today. It, this one is, yeah, it is. Oh, two floors, actually. I didn't even think to check how many floors it was. It's two acts, but. Oh, damn. If this is a one floor encounter, I'm a bit flucked. Did not even consider that. Well, we've learned uh, we, we've learned a, a, a dear lesson today. If you're going to murder people, pay attention to what you're doing. That's the number one lesson I have for, for wannabe murderers. Pay attention. If you don't pay attention, who knows what could be sneaking up behind you to murder you back? Who knows? 
bloody impossible to predict this stuff. As he absolutely annihilates. Jeez. Oh, bugger, these fellas ain't nothing to sneeze at. Well. Oh, yeah, floor's available. One. Brilliant. Speed, sooty thwack. If the character's smoke boost stagger damage dealt by... Oh, ten times the... Ten percent times the number of smoke... Smoke Addiction. On a successful hit, if the targeted 8 or more smoke inflict to Paralysis. Once per scene, if the character has smoke, respond to a one-sided attack with a block die. Well. I feel like this isn't going that well for me, is it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's gone into reading, eh? Keep on your toes, laddie. Oh, let's take care of that thingy gummy. Uh, blue fella has uh, clappers and go. Get it done, hell for leather, and enjoy the rest of our feast. Hmm. Yeah, the question is, has it reset his death timer? Because if it has, then I've got three turns. If it hasn't, I have one. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh yeah, well, what's um, what's fervent beat? A sudden, immediate killer. You seem really up for it at first. Then what happened? Then your heart exploded. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. This isn't looking very good for our Roland and crew, is it? Ah, bugger. Nobody targets the nugget with protection. That's okay, I'll target for them. Damn port. Staggered. Alright, let's see if you pop after one or three. One or three, one or three, one or three. Place your bets. It was one. It carried over. Fantastic. Great. Don't panic, guys. I know you just watched your friend pop after literally two seconds of combat, but I'm sure things will get worse. That's comforting, right? Well, fuck. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Not bad, Roland. Why 
one down. Great. Do you want to try these again with Puffy Broom, or do you want to use one of your kill squads? I'm I'm inclined to say kill squad. I always prefer to kill squad than uh, use the anti anti shark spray on them. I want to prove that I can do it without having to resort to cheap tricks, you know. <laughs> oh god. It's all over but the crying. It's not doable. Come on, guys. I'm, look at the cards. Look at the pages I have left. I've got nothing, and they're three people. <laughs> oh. uh. Does that even work if there's nothing in my hand? Is it just going to do nothing? We're going to find out, but... Cheap tricks like overpower bleed. Look, I don't know the meta. Like, I have. The only things I know about the combat in this game are things I've discovered for myself. I've never looked up, like, build guides. I've never. Uh, I've Like, I've asked advice for ideas for builds, but all the builds I've done entirely my own. You know, if, if something's overpowered, it's because I've worked damn hard to get there. Yeah, I fucked that up. <laughs> Brawl did nothing. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's weird. It's all over. It's just Roland left. And no one is Roland but him. He's just defending. That's all he can do. And he's not even pretty damn good at that. These what's this seem generous? Ah, uh, first time I've lost a fight against people in a while, isn't it? Uh, Taz got dog ears. Ah, oh, Port got prescripts. Will interesting. Five percent chance to boost attack, boost attack damage while singleton. Cool. I'm gonna put that on. Boom. Nice. And then we jump straight back in with the kill squad. Chingu <laughs> day. One siding a defensive only dice is a power move. Yeah, I missed that they weren't clashing. But by that point, I mentally checked out, you know. Alright, let's go with um, NetZack. Yeah, I was thinking the same, Luca. Sorry, Paul, but that headgear looks too cool for you. You look like a Matrix character now. I'm working on a novel, you know. Yes, dreaming. Yes, we know. Thank you. For sharing that. Pod is the if angry you win floor. <laughs> Very much. Uh, yeah, it's my favourite. I try not to use it too much. I like to to spread out the uh, the victories, you know. 
But if they're the best, you know, who are you going to call? Hods, hoddies. Alright, looks like they're all going for dreaming. Oh yeah, I put high speed stabbing in this deck. Why did I do that? I don't know, what's this build? Oh, low pierce. It's low pierce stabbing. That's what this one is. No, not low pierce, low cost. Low cost pierce. Low, co low pierce stabbing. Low pierce stabbing is just the worst kind of stabbing. You're just poking someone at that point. Personally, I'd love to see more hot. Everyone loves to use your sod and netzak and then switches to only geb and binner. See more hods in my life would be pleasant. I'm surprised people only use your sod. Your sod doesn't seem that good to me. Hmm. Right, what am I doing here? Counter that one, I think, with a spark. Counter that one with a spark. No, counter that one with... Wait, what's that one? What's that one? They're both the same. All right, counter that one also with spark. Uh, intercept this one. Uh, doesn't seem good yet. You sod Emma puppet cards last until the end game. Really? I think I need to rebuild your sod. <laughs> Low pierce stabbing, another combat page sounding phrase. Yeah, I think I need to rebuild your sod. I went for like a speed stagger build based around the uh, the abnormality cards that buff speed, but they pop up so rarely that I just eat these crap. Oh, hello, Solo Zocker. Welcome. Uh, make sure you don't put any spoilers, but uh, apart from that, uh, yeah, welcome to my stream. Oh, look. They've, oh, no, they haven't got quite the same deck. Uh, same hand, sorry. Alright, I think I'm just going to dogpile this guy. Um, can one of you intercept? I don't like one-sided attacks. Sure. And can you intercept this one? Oh, it's not any kind of attack really. Just ignore that then. Ignore that guy. We'll deal with the other things. Like this guy. Oof. Oh! That took a turn. Now everyone smack up this one guy. Yeah, it's not fun when people bloody dogpile someone on your... <laughs> just sprints up to someone and then just stand there because you're not actually attacking them. It's like, look, I just wanted to look you in the eye as I didn't hurt you. Alright, put that on there, Zach. Alright, looks like they're spreading out their attacks this time. Uh, not much, though. It's just because one's staggered. One's staggered and about to bloody die. Or he's not going to do anything. Uh, him. Well, I'll just chuck a high-speed stabbing on him. That should deal with him. Uh, can we deal with this 6 to 19? I don't think anyone has anything. Uh, that's my best bet. Let's try and dodge that just to stop him from staggering Luna. Uh, and you're my next target, friendo. And a bit of high speed stabbing on you. I guess the problem with the defensive build is if they're not intercepting, they don't do anything. 
Luna has nothing to do this turn. Oof. Damn. Yeah, nice one. But you can't even read. Uh, when oh no, that's what the um, the low cost pierce thing was about. I was supposed to put the thorns on uh, dreaming because then he hits with lots of low. Like he's a, he's able to output a, a much higher amount of hits than Netzak is. But oh well, too late for that now. How are we doing on stagger? Netzak could probably do with the buff. So could dreaming. Yeah, I mean that one seems so minor, frankly. Oh, wait, sorry, did that go on everybody? All allies. Oh, it goes on all allies. I didn't realise it was an all allies one. I thought it was just one person. Righto. Sorry, I keep forgetting that Geek Master is Ethan. Like, he's thinking... I know that's... I know that's a regular viewer, but I can't remember who, but it, I'm, I'm fairly sure it's Ethan. <laughs> oh, hey, Charcoal Angel, welcome. Uh, Alright, they're all going for Becca. And Becca is going to hit back at oh, this, this one. You jump in with that, and... Also that. Walks up to a person that has no weapon, doesn't know martial, martial combat and is a pacifist, looks them dead in the eye and starts blocking with an oversized shield. <laughs> Sounds like a fun D&D build. I mean, it sounds like a fun D&D build until the point when... Uh, when it, it stops being fun, and it will reach that point. I played a borderline pacifist before, and the, the party were not... Or not pleased with it. Mm. I guess I'll probably just stab him, don't I? Just stab the shit out of him. I'm related to stream, I'm pretty excited for the next Milgram video. Oh, I'm glad to hear that! I've started scripting it, but uh, I've not got far with it yet. Been working on other stuff. Mm. Yeah, jump in with a the mannequin there. I don't suppose you could probably jump in with two, can you? Just completely take it off uh, Becca's plate. Nice. Nice. Staggered. Stabby, stabby. Not bad. Nice. Ooh. Staggered. Frontal dodge that and leave everyone else to. Yeah, I think I need to change um, dreaming without the uh, the thorns. This has not helped <laughs> as a build. Oh god, sorry, I just thwacked my headset and turned the volume way up. That made me jump. Go for refine and spear. Oof. Nice. Nice, one dead. 
you dead. I'm going to tailor you so hard. Uh, yeah, dice power plus one on that, Zach. Retaliate. Just a series of bloody one-sided attacks. Oof. Staggered. <laughs> Everyone line up and beat the crap out of this guy. Nice work. Come out their bodies in an instant. Oh, my cleric, you know. Yes, back here, I know. Alright, we're in much better position. Luna is not in a good way, but Luna isn't a particularly well-built deck, so I might have to reconsider that one. Fun thing you could do in Netzak, Teardrop does 50% max HP damage to everyone. Everyone, including enemies. Ooh, interesting. That is cool. Very interesting. Okay. Bring this through. Deep drag. Oh, retaliate's my best bet there. Especially if I buff it. Oh no, won't buff the evasion. Uh, who's this? Jin. Yeah. Alright. Jin's the first target. Oh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna do anything here. Uh. All right, strike back. And on there. And on there. Can ignore oh no I can't ignore that mannequin and yeah not really much you can do against that is there so I think just ignore it and hope you don't die got a one-sided coming in here but again not much I can do about that Oof. Oof. They hit so hard. Nice. Oof. Almost a kill in one turn, though. Did use a lot of cards, dice, pages. Got there in the end. <laughs> Netzak's floor sound effect is just. <laughs> and then with those, it's. <laughs> uh, Alright, can ignore him. Uh, fresh fillet. Ooh. Okay. Can intercept someone. All right, I think persistence. Intercept the most dangerous thing. And block. Actually, 
intercept the most dangerous thing with a bloody defensive guard. That would help. And intercept that one with persistence. And then the only thing that's now going through were just pure defensive cards. So you, I'm trusting entirely on you to kill him. Uh, do they pronounce it fillet where you live? I've always heard it fillet. It has different, different, different uses. So like you have a fillet of fish, a fillet o fish, which is um, from the French, but you have a fillet. Combine it with gaze office sounds, and you have the loudest floor. <laughs> uh, right, who am I attacking next? You, front job, front, 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 Bobby. Okay, we're gonna murder this front dude. You got this, Luna. Yeah, nice. Nice, two down. It could be stupid, but my brain reads A and I the same. Uh, A, A Y E is um, it's like Scottish, I guess, slang. As um, like I as in yes, like 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 pirates. You know, they say I in that way as well. So basically, all Scottish people are pirates, is what I'm saying. Glad we can all learn something today. Wonder what happened to Eileen. She does look... She looks much different. She doesn't... She does not look much like her last... Sorry, completely misread this. Yes, she does look quite different. Intercept. I mean, you can intercept that. Oh no, you can't intercept that one. You can intercept that one. I'll respond to that. And that. And that. That, that, and that. We're just bloody nuking them one by one. Ooh. There's a strong tradition of piracy in Scotland. It, historically, there's a strong tradition of piracy across a lot of the UK because um, a, there, there were a lot of British colonies in the Caribbean so a lot of British people would go out there looking for jobs and end up falling into piracy. Ooh, yeah. Oh, single ally, all allies. No, I'll go with the healing. You know, recover us a bit. Nice. Everyone is extracting fuel from the same guy. <laughs> he has tasty fuel. What can I say? That's stimulating fumes, you know. Really just uh, powers the engine. There. Mm. 
He might be dead, but I just wanna... I wanna make sure he's really freaking dead. Ooh. Especially when he keeps recovering stagger. Nice. Oh, he survived! But he is staggered now. Cool! Netzak's team have done very well, I think. Uh, can you in No, we don't have a refine. No one has any refining to do. That's okay, though. Let's extract a bit more from him, just just cause, you know. There's a weird laugh. <laughs> One down. Leave my pals, I made a blunder. And then he staggered. And we just we just eat him, really. Who wants some delicious, um, smiling man? Mmm. Tasty smiling man. Yeah, frontal dodge with him, why not? Good work, guys. No losses. Very aggressive dodging. It's like getting in someone's face and just like dancing like, yeah, take this. Oh, look at that headgear. He's gonna look ridiculous in that. Just what could that blue sicko be looking for so badly? Any guesses? There's just way too many off the top of my head. That crazed pervert can, can and will go far beyond anyone's expectations. Okay, that was brief. Netzak, you've got a new hat! Okay, I thought that would be on his face, but sure. That... you look really nice. Unbearable pleasure. Netzak, of anyone in the world, is someone who is overwhelmed with unbearable pleasure, isn't he? Just look at his face. He just, he, oh, God, he's just so happy. Right. <laughs> Netzak is a flower now. <laughs> Get up in their face and pray to God you can evade everything they throw at you. <laughs> Show off your dominance in the field of dodging. Oh. <clears throat> Where was I? Sorry, I was stretching a bit. Hot as an abnerve. Oh, she does! I knew it was going to be that. I didn't want it to be, but I knew it would be because it's like spider bud. It fits. Oh, I wasn't happy about that. The smiling faces. Alright, let's have a look at Letitia. As nice as it is to care for your friend, that's not the kind of gift you want, yeah? Hear me out. What if we use her hospitality to friends to our advantage? I'm sorry for the kid, but maybe that could work out. Look at her, she's so adorable. With her weird little wonky eyes. Like, I, I think Letitia is adorable, and I'm one of the few people, it seems, in the world who likes the... Uh, the discordant sound when you work uh, Letitia on uh, Lobco. Gift wrapped friend. So these are people with spiders in their brains, which is fucking horrible. <sighs> I'll give you a gift, prioritize the target with the least amount of gifts in hand. Will you play with me? Block dice lose power times four the number of gifts. If all other allies have died, 
oh, everything becomes fatal. Gift uh, targets the most gifts. Boom, on the third scene, uses a powerful combat page which deals significant damage and gives three copies of gift to its target before causing the user to self-destruct. Hmm. Uh, if this character dies, a wee witch's friend is spawned. If the character is killed before it can self-destruct, it is spawned with 80% HP. Right. I am going to very quickly see if I can beat this. So they're weak to blunt. Because if there's anyone who can beat it out the gate, it's going to be Hod's team. Uh, I like her. I used to skill grind, so I heard it a lot. I'm glad someone else feels that way. Look at her. I love her just her her little brainless face. It's so adorable. Take it. Okay, so all of their things are about adding gifts. Oh, they're ranged. I need to get into the habit of checking for that. Interesting. Add a copy of a gift. Ally with the lowest HP recovers HP. Okay, let's see what we can do then. Uh, it's probably getting close to the point where I'm going to swap out Ethan's brawl and stuff for um, for slashing stuff. I can intercept. Defensive dice on a range page. Remote blocking. <laughs> How does that work? Because defensive dice uh, persist, don't they? So surely that means that if I attack her, she will still block with them. Uh, and that's just pure defensive. So let's um, intercept this one instead. And that's all you can do. Functionally, it means whoever is clashing with that card will go before everyone else's range take priority. Right. Uh... You're going to need to intercept one of these. Can't intercept. Lam can't intercept. Your Lam can only intercept this one. Okay, Hob's going to get hit by one one sided thing. No, oh, she hid. That was cute. Damn. Damn. That's bad luck. So many gifts. No, oh, she hides when she gets hit. Poor little thing. Gift. Explodes after two scenes, dealing 15 piercing and inflicting a pit pitter pat. The librarian dies if three stacks of pitter pat accumulate. Bloody hell. a two cost. That's annoying. <laughs> Alright.
At least it's a decently powerful one. Oh, she does lose defensive power. Times four. Okay. I did forget that. Nice work, Hod. Staggered. She's almost staggered as well. I'm hoping I can just sort of avoid these guys, because if I kill them, they're just going to spawn more enemies. She's now staggered. Look at the day on, Hod. Yeah, it's, it's why I say that the um, the YouTube stream YouTube streaming is nowhere near as good as Twitch is, just because of the lag. The lag is horrendous. Although it's not it's not lag, it's latency. Like it, it streams just that little bit behind, and that's sort of problematic. Gonna throw freaking everything on her. Uh. Is that everything? Yeah, that's all I can do. Just wait for Hod to get angry again, and then we might be able to just bloody one shot her. Jeez. Oh, I feel so mean beating up this this poor little sad girl who just wants to give gifts and make friends. Not difficult, both because my team is very good and she didn't really have much in the way of defense. As soon as I started getting gifts, suddenly psh, like her defensive abilities were worthless. Aww. But there we go. Sur oh, bloody hell, there's a lot of writing. Surprise gift, friend, and funny prank. Ha ha ha. And when the kid meets someone she likes, she will give them a gift made all by herself. I mean, that's suddenly a bit... that's concerning. Made by herself and their spider eggs. Mm. The gift's content is a secret, though. She was so sad that she had to leave her dear friends behind, so she came up with a brilliant idea. Oh, no, that's okay. No, it was explained where she got the eggs. Never mind. So this little lady's made a decision to stay here and never leave until laughter is restored to this place. The first opponent to clash against the selected librarian gets the giftee status. If the giftee clashes against a character other than the selected librarian, the gift explodes, dealing 2 to 7 and inflicting bleed. Uh, sneak a friend onto one of the combat pages in hand. Excludes on play pages. Does not activate when there's a ready a page with a friend in hand. The page with a friend gains 2 to 4 power, however it's not used, it exhausts. Okay, that seems pretty good. Yeah, that, that seems quite doable. Uh, the first die of any combat page the librarian prays will always roll the maximum or minimum. Take 2 to 7 if it rolled the minimum. That seems pretty crap. Is it like a 50-50? Is it just a 50-50 to take extra damage? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem brilliant. But imagine pairing that with um, Yield Flesh. Not Yield Flesh. Boundary. Boundary Break. Boundary Lord. Boundary, Boundary King. Boundary of Death. Boundary King. Yeah. Okay, that could be an interesting setup. 
But yes, uh, we have a hard space. If anyone would like the... Um, completely realize the floor of technological science is interesting. Uh, does anyone want to be on Hod's floor or on Malchus floor? We have um, those two open spaces. Uh, I will, because it's it's a Friday, isn't it? So it's going to be like five days before the next stream. So I'll give people a chance to comment in the VOD. Uh, comment on the VOD. Uh, but if there haven't been comments by like, I don't know, Tuesday, then um, yeah, we have some new people here. So if we haven't had a comment by Tuesday, then I'll um, I'll come up with some myself. So thank you very much for watching. We made a brilliant amount of progress today. The last couple have been a bit slow. I've been struggling on certain fights, but we beat virtually all of them today. So we still have this one. I still don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it's amazing. The HOD is still fantastic and her floor is, is still really good. So thank you very much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, check out my YouTube where all the VODs go. If you're watching on YouTube, check out my Twitch, which has uh, much lower latency streaming, as we found out today. Uh, either way, check out my social media linked below the Twitch in the description of the YouTube stream. And uh, join the Garen Rube Discord linked in the same place. Um, and uh, check out my Patreon. Pledges on there make a big difference. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good weekend. I don't know if I'm streaming on Monday or not, but I will be back Wednesday at least for more Library of Ruiner. And uh, got some news. I've uh, got a new brand new series starting on the Tabletop channel on Monday, uh, which will be teased on the main channel, hopefully this weekend. That's something I'm going to be recording tonight. Ooh. So I'm stretching. Um... So yeah, be sure to check that out if you like things. I don't want to don't wanna spoil. But yeah, that'll be on the main channel first and then on the tabletop channel. Uh, both of which are linked below the Twitch. So thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Uh, and I will catch... Hello future people, goodbye future people, and I will catch you later.